here we are. We're back for part two of transactions into a ledger. What we're going to do today is we're going to do a short video um, instruction on how to calculate the balances. If you remember from our uh, balance sheet, assets all have balances on the left hand side. You can tell which ones are balances by looking at the account number. Remember, assets always begin with the number one. To calculate our balance, we're going to add everything on the left and subtract everything on the right. In order to do that, we're going to put in the formula equals bracket bracket sum bracket. The first number for our cash T is in A3. We want to finish up at A10. Then we're going to subtract everything in the right hand column. So e minus sum bracket B3 to B13 and followed by two brackets and then press your enter key. Our balance for cash is $8,075. I would ask you to make that number a little larger than your regular number perhaps as well as to choose your favorite color so that I can easily distinguish what your balance is. Continuing on, if we look at our supplies, we have nothing on the right hand side, so we merely need to add the two numbers together on the left. So equals sum bracket A20 colon A21 followed by the enter sign. Okay, once again, make your font size a little larger. And change it to your favorite color. pause the video while you calculate the balances for the remaining assets. Alright, you can see that I have um, entered in the balances for office furniture and the law library, so check yours to make sure that it is the same. We're now going to calculate our balances for our liabilities. Once again, you can tell our liabilities by looking at the account number. The number 2 indicates that that is an asset, or a liability, I'm sorry. With a liability, our balance is found on the right-hand side of our account. So this time, we're going to take the number on the right-hand side, so equals E. 9 subtract D9 and our new balance for the Castle Garage is $631. Okay, we do the same thing for the Huffer Company equals E15 minus D15. And there's our new balance. Rachel Moser Capital hasn't changed. So to avoid um, typing error, you can put in equals E24 and it will reprint the number for you. The remaining accounts all 
all have balances either on the left hand side or the right hand side just depending on where the, the numbers are. Rachel Moser Drawing has its balance on the left hand side. So we're going to press equals D31 to get the balance printed there. Legal service revenue is on the right hand side. Because there's several numbers, we need to use the formula that uses, utilizes the word sum. So we're going to put equals sum bracket H3 colon H7. And that will add up our total of our revenue. on and add up your expenses equals from bracket C14 colon D15 bracket and please don't forget to change your balance to your favorite color. I'm going to pause the video again. As you can see, I completed entering the remaining balances in. The last step that you need to do is you need to check that all of the balances that you have on the left hand side, so all of the green amounts on the left hand side equal all of the green amounts on the right hand side. To do that, we're going to complete a trial balance. I'm going to do is I'm going to open up sheet 2 and we're going to have to flip back and forth for a few minutes to so that we can record I can show you the recording of the balances. So I'm going to click down here on sheet 2. So we have the left side balances and we have the The balance of our cash account is 8075 and supplies is 490. I'm going to add those in here. 8075, 490, And then we get to our liabilities and they have balances on the right hand side. So six thirty-one and twenty-five dollars is going to go on the right-hand side column. I would like you to continue doing that while I pause the film. Continue entering all of the balances. All right, I have all of the balances typed in on either the left-hand side or the right-hand side. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add them to make sure that they equal. So the left hand side equals sum bracket A3 to A10. And we're going to go across equals sum bracket C3 to C6. And when you look at our two numbers, they both equal 10,955. So we know that we have done our problem correct.